Okay, connecting and it's recording. So welcome to the first interim of 2020. Another decade. Another decade of Seabor. Right. Okay. This is the decade of Seabor. <laughs> no, that was the decade. <laughs> the Seabor decade. Uh, like the Bronze Age. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So the agenda for today is just to see, to have a status update from Kasten about uh, what the status of Seabor base working group last call, and and then if we can talk through if there's anything we can do about the issues left. Um, was hoping to have Jeffrey here, but uh, he doesn't seem to be connecting. So let's just start. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so uh, as, as I said in, in before the meeting started, uh, my laptop broke, I got a new one, and I found out it's uh, a bigger problem in the Mac world to switch from High Sierra to Catalina than I thought. So I'm, I'm starting to get productive again <laughs> this week. And I have started to, to grind at the various issues again. And uh, right now I have done the I have processed uh, uh, Jeffrey's review. I still have to process uh, Francesca's review. And of course, we still have a number of uh, issues uh, outstanding uh, that uh, where, where we need text, in particular the uh, map um, validity issue that uh, probably is the, the most difficult one to work on. But there's also interesting input coming from implementers. So if you look at the uh, issue list, um, then you can uh, find um, a comment or a couple of uh, comments from a guy called Montgomery Edwards, which I think is not his real name <laughs> because its uh, handle is X448. So we know what Montgomery and Edwards mean for, for 448. Anyway, he has uh, put up some, some pretty good questions from an implementer's uh, point of view. And I think we have to, to take a position on some of these uh, issues where we were pretty wishy-washy uh, previously. Uh, so that's in particular the, the 156, which really uh, brings up the issue of generic uh, decoders and encoders and reasonable defaults uh, for them. So you don't have to touch your generic decoder for every new application protocol, which, which would be uh, really bad. And um, Jeffrey's review also brought up some, some issues that fall into this generic decoder uh, bucket. So I think that, that the part, uh, apart from the uh, map key issue, which uh, by the way also essentially is, is shaped by generic decoder issues, um, we have a few more generic decoder uh, codec um, issues that, that we, we may want to look at. And I also think uh, what, what Montgomery Edwards has started, uh, we need to do with other uh, implementers as well. So we, we still need this outreach uh, phase. Um, I have done a little bit of outreach, but not very much. And th 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 there are more than 50 implementations, uh, uh, the implementers of which we could talk to. So I would expect uh, they, they will have some input, but it's probably useful to do this outreach at a time when we have developed an uh, initial, initial position on the generic codec uh, issues. So that, that's the sequence of things uh, for, for me. Get, get those pull requests out there, get a new consistent uh, version, and then do the outreach uh, thing. And I think that, that kind of means we will have a second work group last call um, because th there are so many things going on at the moment. So 
Um, are you saying that the working group, like this second working group, I agree with you. Are you saying that the second working group last call would have to be after we reach out to other implementers? And well, maybe whatever this, comments? This can be overlapped. Mm. So, so the, they the, could make comments at the same time as. Yes, the, the implementer input uh, would. would be solicited at the time where we do the second working class call. So they, they essentially can do their working class call input. But we probably need a little bit of head start on the implementing yeah. uh, reach out. But but that's okay because we will spend some some time polishing this um, before we go into the next working class call. So again, I think we, we need to, to develop posi a position on things that, that implementers really are interested in. And then we can start the reach out. And while we are doing this, we can do wonderful things like like uh, review the mine registration and uh, uh, update the list of changes and, and things like that. Yeah. OK. Now remind me what issue one thirty eight was. One thirty eight. Uh, check as well. One thirty eight. I think we decided on closing that one. Didn't we? During the interim. Yeah, I I merged the pull requests. Um, uh, yeah, generally, uh, Lawrence, it, it would be good if you could occasionally do a review, even if we have closed uh, the issue. Um, so y you brought up this this issue. Uh, I just wanted to merge the thing because it, it becomes difficult to juggle uh, pervasive changes. You get lots of good conflicts if you have pervasive. Uh, changes. So you're referring to uh, 138? Yeah, the, the enclosed. Okay. Versus tag content thing. Okay. Um, I think I, I I understood what you were asking to do, and I I think I I mostly did it, but uh, of course only you really <laughs> know what you wanted us to do, and. Okay. So if you yeah. can have occasionally, it's not a high priority thing, but if you can occasionally have a review of that, it's not much to do there. So there is yeah. a, the pull request that now is closed, but that should be, make it easier to review what text was changed. Yeah, yeah I can see here. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but generally, um, I think it's important that, that um, if we actually um, hand out some review requests uh, that, that uh, people are aware of that and, and uh, actually respond to that, we are only doing that when we think we really need those reviews. That the people are aware, I didn't understand you. So, uh, for instance, the the most recent pull request. Um, hmm. Uh, I put in. This has a re review request for Jeffrey. Um, now, um, if he doesn't get around to reviewing this, at some point we will merge it anyway. But th th that's not mm -hmm. the way to handle this. It, it would be better if, if we actually got the uh, review. Yeah. Doesn't mean yeah. I don't expect Jeffrey to, to put his one in, but uh, just, just as a reminder, uh, these reviews are really useful to make progress. I mean, the best way I think would be to actually uh, mail him directly. Uh, some people do not see a request review on on GitHub. Uh, I'm not even sure I would see it if it, I didn't get the mail from GitHub. But um, yeah, in that case, we can we can ping Jeffrey directly. I think that would be much more. Um, effective. So, so I think you replied to him in the mailing, like in the mailing list. Yes. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Maybe 
did you also uh, CC him directly? Yes. So I I, I don't. I don't want to, to make a specific point of Jeffrey not doing his homework. He certainly does. No, no, uh, no. <laughs> I want to, to use this as an example for... for Everybody uh, is very much volunteer here. So, yes. you know, <laughs> it's, yeah. But no, what I'm saying is to make sure that he has seen the email because, yeah, mailing list emails can get lost uh, in, in folders and notifications from GitHub can get lost. So... Yeah, so I, I sent a direct message to him on 1643, which you should have a CC for. Okay, yeah. Unfortunately, the, the chair's alias is broken for me because uh, my mail installation here has working SPF now, and, and all the, the chairs and draft aliases uh, break with SPF. Uh-huh. This case is not uh, not a problem, but uh, yeah, my my email uh, my Outlook is not updating anyway for some reason, so I haven't seen the last two hours of mails, so that's probably why I didn't see your mail too, Jeffrey. Okay, yeah, I, I, but that sounds uh, good to me. That sounds good to me. We should uh, see if uh, uh, yeah, continue on this. Uh, reviews and then uh, publish when everybody's happy, publish an update. And then um, after that, uh, reach out to the uh, implementers. And how do we do that? I guess that we will need your help, Carsten, to uh, reach out. And if you want us as working group chairs to send emails, we can do that. Otherwise, you can do it. I don't know. We'll, I think that at that point we'll figure it out, and then uh, right after or at the same time we start a second working group last call. Right. So uh, for most of the implementations, uh, th there is a GitHub a repository. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm planning to simply create issues on those GitHub repositories. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> For for some people, um, I I also have contact information, so maybe I can address them directly. And uh, would you would would it would you be unhappy if I CC the chairs on these things? No, please do that. Please do that so we see. Okay, well it's fifty implementations, so <laughs> it's a lot of me you are just uh, signing up for. I'm okay with that. Um, I hope that Jim has a forwarding uh, like folders in the system, a filtering system in his mailbox. Well, Jim is not getting my mail anyway, so uh, he's protected. He's well, the oh, SPF okay. So if I send anything to Seaboard chairs, you get it, but Jim doesn't. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm. Uh, I'm happy with that. So please do that. Okay. That's great. So when is our next uh, synchronization point? So the next meeting will be in two weeks. So the 29th of January. Yeah. At this great. time. So by then, hopefully, uh, we'll have a bit more um, updates on reviews, I guess. I'll try to be quick in responding as well, since you have a, uh, my review as well. So Good. So do, do you want to, to, to use the next Wednesday slot? We cannot use it for an interim because the, 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 it's too soon. Uh, mm -hmm. would, could you imagine using that for this coordination call? Uh, yes, I think that just next Wednesday I have something. I booked it for something else. Just empty slot. No, no, I'm free. So yeah, that okay. works for me. Because th that would be a good time because the lake 
uh, with your interim is the next day, and maybe synchronizing before that is a good thing. Yeah, yeah. So let, let's let's try to set up something. So I think I will send an email to uh, because because I would like this to be something open to uh, anybody who wants to join, really. Yes. So so I think we should. Uh, uh, come up with a list of working groups that, that uh, we will inform starting about this. From, starting from the IoT directorate is probably a good idea. Just sending an email there and say, hey, we're sure. planning on this unofficial chat. But um, I even would like to, to include the, the working group meeting. It's not just the IoT directorate people. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's not a good idea. I don't know. Um, no, that's exactly what I was thinking too, including anybody who okay. wants to join. But because it's oh. not an official interim, I'm wondering. It's a hallway meeting. Yeah, it's a hallway meeting. <laughs> okay, uh, let, let's um, exchange a list of uh, working groups we want to address and then talk to the chairs whether the, the date is actually good and mm -hmm. then if, if it turns out to be good uh, then we can announce it. Yeah, that sounds good. Which all happens needs to happen this week. Yeah. Yes. Okay, do that. Yeah. I think that's it for today. Um, hey, hey, yeah. yeah, I was Carson, where where are you on the the duplicate detection? I'm, I guess I'm maybe I missed something there, but are you well, the text or as as I I told Francesca, uh, we had a pretty good discussion in the, in um, Singapore about that, right? And uh, the discussion, the result of the discussion was, from my point of view, was essentially that we have working group consensus on doing something I don't agree with. And uh, I, I have to be very, very careful picking up that consensus properly and not color it by my own uh, view on this. So that, that's why I really have to go back to the, the video from the working group meeting and, and make sure I create text uh, uh, that reflects that. And I haven't been able to do this uh, before today's meeting, but I certainly will be able to in the next couple of days. Okay. So the goal is for for the next meeting anyway to have it done or have some proposal yes. that can be reviewed. Yes. So Lawrence, do you have a specific point uh, position on this, or do you just want to have it done? Uh, no, I I had definite thoughts about it. Um, and I'm I'm not quite sure where they're how they sync with. What everybody else is thinking, but probably my last email on the subject, last email or two, contains that. Which okay, um, I think it was kind of the coders have to go into three categories: either they um, uh, do duplicate detection, they don't, and pass the duplicates up a layer or they don't do duplicate detection. And what they do is, could be take first, it could be take last, it could be anything in between, but we can't specify it. It's just, they don't do it. Right. So that, that, that was kind of the point of view I, I went into with, uh, went into the discussion with. Um, and the discussion, went into a direction being a little bit more uh, demanding on on uh, decoders to actually provide the information so an application can detect uh, duplicates. And um, I, this is kind of new. We haven't been doing this before. Um, and uh, I think we have to be very, very precise on what exactly we uh, ask uh, decoders uh, to do because that, that is probably going to require a change in the majority of the implementations. 
Um, so it's uh, it, it's a big thing. Well, and, uh, and then the reason the reason we have that category of um, decoders that can't do it, that don't do anything, that don't do any duplicate detection, and they don't pass duplicates up, is because programming environments. Um, that's, that's what they support. I mean, yes. the, the map structure, or and I mean, I guess you could just not use the 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 programming environment's map structure, but that's that's really ugly. Yes. Okay. All right. that, that's exactly my reservation with this, but yeah. uh, I people like Jeffrey are, are making a very good point. Uh, that, uh, that there are a lot of applications uh, that cannot really live with the security problem that this creates. Yeah. And uh, we, we have to develop a position here that, that is both cognizant of, of the, the implementation issue uh, and enabling uh, protocols to be uh, secure in the end. Yeah. Th that's the hard part. Okay. Okay. So I put uh, the link to the um, Lawrence's email in the minutes. Thank you. Once you read the whole thread there, anyway. Um, but yeah. Okay. If there is nothing else, I think we can go ahead and close the meeting. Thank you all, and see you in two weeks later. Bye. 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 Bye.